morning just wanted to show you guys uh, uh, you probably if you saw the link I posted on my Facebook uh, about these plate exercises with uh, Olympic 45 pound plates and now I do it every morning I got these fancy gloves but you know the, the plates are sharp so these help protect your palm you know and so I first I do a warm-up with my uh, you know my own weight you know for the abs and you know some squats you know do like five ten minutes regular exercises and then I do exercises with two of these uh, babies over here so I bought two of these and I got a list over here uh, so far I did curls I did triceps pressed I did bend over row that's probably my favorite exercise and I did overhead press this one is so difficult <laughs> and did I do deadlift yeah I did deadlift and I did pullover pullover extremely difficult exercise and actually it was not like deadlift and pullover these were not in that video all right so but you know deadlift that's that's easy right so you just grab two two of these so it's only 90 pounds and then you just keep your your back straight and you just lift it kind of like olympic style you know so that's the deadlift and it's very easy to damage something if your back is like this you know it has to be really really straight you know That's the deadlift. And I'll just show you this pullover. Because I don't know why this guy did not do it. Uh, on the video, I guess. I guess they do want they do wanna lie down in the dirt. But it's a very effective exercise, except that it's can be extremely difficult you know but basically it looks like this This, of course, develops these muscles over here. They're the ones that you need when you do pull-ups. So you do a lot of these, then pull-ups will be real easy. Okay, so that's a pullover. All right. Oh, and actually, yeah, one reason I started doing this video <laughs> because you know the problem. Let's say I want to do squats, right, with these babies. But the problem is they're too tall you know so you cannot put them I cannot if I if I do like squats you know like standing like this they hit the floor I can only bend my leg my my knees I don't know 20 degrees and that's why we're doing this I call it I call it the wheelchair and why it's called like that you'll see in a second let me just assemble this contraption all right so the chair the chair is a uh, as a metal base right and if you look at it <laughs> if you look at it from the side with these plates it looks exactly like a like a wheelchair right and also it's a dangerous exercise and that's why the back is facing that way if I fall I'm gonna be falling my beautiful face down 
but I already did it a few times and and the chair was it's pretty strong you know so let me show you how I kept that Sergey does the wheelchair so we go like this I would just pray we try to maintain the balance just find the proper spot and then you grab two of these I raise your butt and that's it and I will just do squats and the back has to stay straight as well but you see this way I can bend my knees much more And I like it you know, when you do this, when you do these with a with weights, it always feel feels cool to repeat the same movement without weights because then you feel the strength of your muscles. You know, they become much stronger. And okay, let me just catch my breath, and then I'll show you a couple of more that those uh, three kids in the video that I referenced they did not do. And today's Saturday, so I'm taking a break from my weight loss diet. Actually, I think I finished the weight loss diet, so now I'm just staying on, you know, proper proper diet, like no carbs, you know, just veggies and protein. But Saturday, Sunday, I give myself a break, just like uh, Stallone recommends in his books. He says you gotta take a break. Uh, I think today I'm gonna have pancakes. You know, as a Russian, I like correction. I love pancakes. Anyway, so one exercise these guys did not do in the video is uh, it's called high pull, and I'm surprised because this is this would be real easy for them because they were standing and you can do the standing, right? All we do is just. Stand up, keep it at your waist, and then just raise it to your chin. And this develops your mostly your shoulders and the top of your back. And of course also your biceps and your grip. Now we do the same exercise without weights, just to feel the power, yeah, it feels super strong, I feel like a mini Schwarzenegger. Okay, so that's high pull, also the full name I think is called sumo, sumo high pull because it's used by sumo wrestlers, I guess they need, you know, shoulders. Okay, and now another exercise this guy did not do, and again it's very easy. Is it's just the it's 
Floor press. And I like to fix the position of the plate at the top. You know, not go like this all over the place, but just when you when it's up, just fix it. This of course develops your chest, your triceps, and the front part of your shoulders. And this exercise is great if you want to improve your your results in push-ups on the floor and that's one that's one area when I can because you know I didn't do it for a long time like this fitness stuff and like I mentioned before these chains and binders once a week loading and loading doesn't give you a lot of uh, you know uh, stress on your muscles and now I've been doing push-ups and I can only do 10 that's unacceptable you know so this is much easier than push-ups but it strengthens pretty much the same muscles except of course when you do push-ups you need strong abs and strong back and that's why I'm doing the back you know the deadlift right okay so this was floor press And uh, they show this very nice exercise. It's, it's kind of like I used to do it with uh, kettlebells. It's called uh, the guys in the video called it swing, but it's not a swing because the swing with a kettlebell only goes here, you know, to your shoulder level, and this is a snatch. Because it's the same principle, you use your straight, straight arms, but instead of lifting the, uh, the weight to your shoulder height, you lift it overhead, you know, but on straight arms. I'll just show you in a second. And once again, Captain Sergey is wrestling with 45 pound weight. And I love these plates because they're because of these handles so basically just you know just, uh, keep your feet very wide and then just bring this close to your you know to your body and then do like this Okay, one more exercise. Uh, it's a very interesting exercise, and the at first it seems kind of stupid, but <laughs> it really puts a lot of weight on your on your shoulders, your back, you know, even your legs, your butt, everything. It's called farmer's carry, and the idea again is very simple. You just grab two plates or two weights, two kettlebells, whatever and you walk around kind of like what farmers do you know when they have to move a heavy sack of grain or something so basically like farmers often have to carry stuff and walk you know and that's what I do just grab two 45 pound plates 
and walk along the room. No big deal, right? Farmer scary. I am strong. And I am very strong. I am super strong. So basically, this reminds me when I gotta do it work. You know, when I have to carry my chains and binders from the trailer to the load. And this is pretty much the same stuff. Very useful, you know. Basically, the plan is to duplicate the movements I do when working. And this is, you know, whatever I do when I load or unload, and that's what I'm trying to, I try to develop these muscles. parts starts you know hurting real bad over here like this muscle I forgot what it's called trapezoid altoid something right just I know what they do I don't know all the names in English I'm sorry all right then I guess this is the last one see I got a list right I got one, two, three, four, five, six exercises with own weight. Then I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. But I just do one one repetition, you know, so far because I just started. But maybe I can uh, now when I've really warmed up, I can do something for uh, you know muscles I use most often and I'll just show you how I do the bent over row maybe I should try to do it with two plates but that's all often you know when I my, ch my chains and binders are in the middle of the trailer in the two compartments right so first I have to step on the trailer okay it's only 15 inches the sides and then I have to open the lid right and I have to bend like this and I have to grab the chains get them out and put them on the deck and so I'm, I'm doing pretty much <laughs> always I'm doing this bent over row exercise you know and it's, so that's really I need that and then of course I need uh, triceps and biceps when I tighten the binders you know if I tighten like this I need this the bicep if I tighten this way I need the triceps and the shoulders right and that's what I'm trying to develop and also quite often especially when dealing with the uh, wheel loaders you know where the bucket is they put the eyes for the chains on the inside next to the tire and it's very awkward to crawl in there first of all it's dangerous because you have to raise the bucket and you have to crawl into that space next to the wheel in the front and then I have you know it's very tight in there and it can be challenging to grab the long 10 foot long half an inch chain and you have to raise it like this and not only you, you don't have to raise it like straight that would be easy but you have to go like this and then you have to kind of you know reach out and try to put it into the eye and like you know my shoulders were falling off basically even though that too, I don't know what is that maybe 20 pounds that chain maybe 30 pounds but it's heavy and so that's why I'm doing this you know overhead press and all this you really need these muscles for you know for this for the heavy hole so let me see if I can do 
the bent over row with two plates. I didn't try it before, so this will be the first time. It might not work very well because uh, there's not that much room again because they're pretty tall, right? Oh, hold on, you probably don't see anything. Let me just put my camera. All right, that's better, right? You guy uh, on the left, there, guy. You uh, see you falling off the chair. You can see everything, okay? Good. All right, so we'll get around like this, and we'll try to do a roll. That's exactly the movement that I do with my, with my chains. Okay, I think I think that's it for today. Thanks for watching, Captain Sergey. Out.